So the new topic of the session is exploring geometrical figures. In daily life, we see so many geometrical structures which represent a sort of a shape. Say for example, I just have a fan. A fan looks somewhat in a different shape. I just have the fan which has it has four wings and sometimes they have three wings. So if this is the fan rotating, then I have all four blades having the similar shape. So what is that similar or what is that equality through which we identify the geometrical figures? Mathematically, when do we call the three blades to be same or equal in area? So when do we say that all blades are of same shape? Not in general, but in mathematical terms, we measure the similarity of the shapes through the angles and the lengths of the line segments connecting the endpoints is how geometrically we understand through the rotation or moving of the object is how we understand the concept of exploring geometrical figures. The first and foremost concept in exploring of geometrical figures is congruency. What is congruency? When do we say that two different objects are congruent? Say for example, let's start with triangles. We have seen many types of congruences in case of two triangles. So let's take when Now, the triangle ABC is said to be congruent to triangle DEF if the corresponding sides are equal. So this is one of the way through which the congruency is identified for a triangle <coughs> where two triangles are said to be congruent if their corresponding sides are equal, which is called SSS congruency. And the congruency is denoted with the symbol this two equalities and one cross line is how I understand the congruency of triangles. Similarly, when I have two parallelograms or two rectangles, I say they are congruent if their adjacent sides, corresponding sides are equal and each of the angle is equal. So in case of this, even the angles are said to be equal. So before we go to this problem, when two triangles or two different geometrical shapes are congruent, they are said to be equal in all respects. Their areas would be same, their angles would be same, their line segments would be same, the heights, the perpendicular heights you draw from one of the vertex will also be same. So there are many properties which become similar when two of the different geometrical objects are congruent. So that is how the congruency holds for triangles. Similarly, I say that rectangle ABCD is said to be congruent to D E F G H if I have the corresponding sides equal and this equal to this because the opposite sides are obviously equal. So one pair of this is equal to this and the other pair is equal to this and each of the angle is 90 degrees then I have the two triangles are congruent and therefore they are equal in area equal in perimeter equal in all means. Even the diagonals would be equal if they are congruent is how I understand the congruency concept in geometrical figures. Now what do we mean by similarity? What is the difference between congruency and similarity? Now two triangles are congruent implies they are equal in all respects but two triangles say for example are similar they are not equal in all respects but only in some limited properties. Say for example I take a smaller triangle and I take a bigger triangle. Now these two are said to be similar as denoted with this ABC triangle is said to be similar to triangle DEF if their corresponding angles are equal but sides may not be equal. So in this case the difference is that here even the sides corresponding sides must be equal but in case of similarity I have triple A similarity but I don't have triple A congruency because if three angles are corresponding equal then the triangles may look smaller and bigger but with equal angles but they cannot be congruent because their areas may not be the same. They are not equal in all respects therefore they are not congruent and hence similarity differs from congruency because similarity is the same shape which looks similar but may be diminished or magnified. So this is the diminished image of this and this is the magnified image of this. 
an object looking smaller in size is called diminished image an object looking larger in size is called the magnified image of the object so in that case similarity is understood with being similar may not be equal in shape but being congruent implies equal in shape is how i understand the similarity to start with an hexagon might be so small but might be similar with this big hexagon because their angles might be respectively equal in terms of similarity the corresponding angles are equal therefore i have each of the corresponding angles equal then it becomes that this object is similar to this but not congruent because they are not equal in area or in they are restricting with certain properties also similarity has an interesting property in case of triangle the corresponding sides will be in same ratio so when i have similarity properties i have the first property which says corresponding angles are equal as in case of angle a equal to angle d b equal to e and c equal to f then secondly the corresponding sides are in same ratio implies the side ab divided by de will equally be same with the ratio ac by df and this would be equally equal to bc by ef that means under these two properties if i wanted to identify the two objects to be similar or not similar i just check for the corresponding angles to be equal as property 1 then the other property which i identify is i find the length of side ab and divide with that of de and i get some ratio similarly i find the length ac and divide with df i get the same ratio if i get the similar ratio for all three corresponding ratios then i can say that on this two properties of corresponding angles being equal and the corresponding sides in same ratio the two triangles are similar or the two geometrical objects are similar so these are the two testing properties for similarity and what are the testing properties of congruency check for lengths of sides if corresponding sides are equal must be exactly equal <coughs> and corresponding angles are also equal in case of the congruency so these are the two basic properties i check for congruency and these are the two basic properties i check for similarity of any two geometrical figures identified for congruency or similarity